Hello and welcome to another Sunday Sampler. This week we're going to be taking a look at the latest in the popular F1 series, F1 2021. So I don't really follow F1 myself. I think it's cool. I like the idea of it. Racing's kind of cool. I've played racing games before that are a lot of fun. The last Formula One or Formula type game that I remember playing was way back on the Sega Genesis, Super Monaco GP, a game I had a lot of fun with. I don't remember playing an F1 game since then. When I was looking for something to play on this week's Sunday Sampler, I saw this pop up. It was just released like a week or two ago. I figured, what the heck, let's try an F1 racing game. So that's what we're going to do in this week's Sunday Sampler. I have no idea what to expect, so let's get into this thing and we'll explore it together. So here's what I guess the main screen looks like. And I've always liked these kind of career type things. So. I don't know, man. Let's just jump into single player career and see what happens. It says start a new driver or my team career. Compete either as a driver for one of the official Formula One teams or start your own team and take them to victory in the Constructors Championship. Sure, whatever. Uh, my team or driver. Uh, let's just do driver. Play as a driver, sign a contract with one of the official Formula One teams and fight your way to the top of the Drivers' Championship. And that's one of the things that I really liked, I remember really liking about that Super Monaco GP game on the Genesis so many years ago. You kind of start off as this unknown driver. You don't have any money, you don't have a reputation or anything. So you start racing for these like crappy teams in these crappy cars, and you slowly get better and move up to better cars and better teams. It's just a lot of fun. And I just remember that game fondly. And just reading this little description here kind of makes it sound like maybe this is similar. I hope it is. Let's select this and see what happens. Uh, skip to F1 or start an F2. You will skip the F2 championship and start immediately in F1. Or start an F2, you will play some or all of the F2 season before proceeding to F1. F2, I guess, is like the level below F1. It's like the minor leagues of racing. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see what happens if we just jump into here. Oh, start from the beginning or real season starts. Uh, you will start from the beginning of the Formula One championship season or choose to start from a specific weekend. Nah, let's just start from the beginning. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of options here. Full season, sure, fine. Yeah, sure, recommended settings. Uh, although I will say that I probably want to... Let's see here. Um, well, I'm certainly not an expert. Uh, standard provides a more authentic F1 experience in the settings with which to tweak it to your taste. I don't know. Let's use that. Um, assists. What I want to do is I, I like to shift myself. I don't want um, an automatic transmission. Transmission. Manual and suggested gear. Manual. Let's see here. Manual and suggested gear. Manual and suggested will require you to change gear, but will show you which gear you're expected to be using. I don't know, that might be fun. Let's do that. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay, I guess I just hit back. Did it save that? It did. Okay. Okay. Confirm settings. Let's get in here, man. I just want to freaking race. Start career with selected options. After confirming these options, you will be asked to create your driver. Yay, we get to create a driver. Uh, do you want an authentic experience capturing the challenges of facing a real F1 driver? In driver career, you'll play as one of the, those drivers looking to secure a seat on one of the official Formula One teams. Being a driver will require you to work hard to impress the teams and ultimately earn contracts at teams better able to support you in your bid to win the Drivers' Championship. All right, this is sounding good. Let's get into first, it. Oh. Let's create your driver. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Create my driver. Uh, that guy looks great. He's the spitting image of me. He looks exactly like me. I, I, it's really weird. It's almost like they have a camera on me or something. And now let's focus on your driver's look. Oh yeah. That's a great look. Now, if I was if I was playing this game, I would go in here and I would I would mess with all this stuff and have all kinds of fun with it. Uh, but you know, it's just a sampler here. Uh, I want to get into the uh, game as quickly as possible. Last but not least, 
we need to decide which team to sign with. Choose carefully, as once you reach F1, the team you drive for will expect you to deliver appropriate results. Uh-huh. Uh, but you know, I just want to get in and race. Okay, so I know nothing about these teams. Absolutely nothing. I don't know, I mean... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find the one that's just like we're just happy you're here like the team expectations for this guy is lead the field this team uh, fight for the championship push for podiums score regular points consistent performance control the midfield return to winning ways claim position or consistent developments um, I mean this looks like the lowest of the teams Judging by the vehicle performance comparison on the right, these guys just want me to develop. This ambitious team is one of the most prestigious names in the sport. They're looking to make strong development gains with an eye to breaking back into the midfield pack in future seasons. Sure, that sounds perfect. Oh, teammate. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Let's do it! Well, that place looks pretty neat. Perks of the job! Here you can see your perk fund. This is money you negotiate over your base salary during contract negotiations. You can spend it any time in Team HQ by going to Corporate and then Contracts. These are your resource points. You use these to help the team upgrade the car. You can spend them at any time in R&D. And this is your driver acclaim. As this increases, so does your worth as a driver. The higher this is, the more teams will be interested in you. Having a highly acclaimed driver also allows teams to bring in more money, allowing for better facilities. I'm playing this game with my uh, PlayStation 4 controller connected to my PC, even though the buttons on screen look like they're for the Xbox controller. Uh, advanced time, weekly... Oh, whoa, whoa. What did I... Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't know why it keeps going to that. Um, let's see here. We've got an overview. Overview, we got facilities. we got R&D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I just want to freaking race, man. Just let me race. Um, uh, no, why... Okay, when I hit down, it takes me to that. I don't want to go to Podium Pass. That's like something you pay for. Um, we get Facilities, R&D, Vehicle, Corporate, and Standings. And then in Standings, we've got all these Season Results. Where am I on this thing? I don't see myself on here. Default Player, is that me? I didn't even, I didn't even change my name? Yeah, 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 Rivalry is great. Uh, driver Details. No, oh, I hate that. Um, I keep pressing down on the D-pad to go down in here, but that doesn't work. Uh, I guess I can't change anything here. I guess I'm just default player for the rest of my life. Advanced time, sure. Oh, okay, time's advancing. Car reveal, weekly resources, go to car reveal. It's time to reveal the sum of our hard work in the world. Or to the world? I don't know what it said. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, sexy. All right, get on with it. And you get a good look at it. Okay, there's the front of it. I can even look around it. All right, well, hope you got a good look. Okay. I like it. Uh, okay, so the Bahrain Grand Prix comes up on the 25th. <laughs> I just want to get to the freaking... I just want to get to the Grand Prix. Personnel upgraded, weekly resources, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, let's go. Let's race. Race weekend. Free practice, completing development boosts in free practice sessions will help you something or other. Uh, you better read fast. Let's check this out, man. Okay. Hey, uh, welcome to the team. Thanks, man. I'm your head of R&D. My name's Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Please, make yourself at home. You're going to be using this workstation pretty regularly over the coming months, so spend some time to get familiar with it. You should be able to access everything from messages to vehicle development. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We can look around. Hey, dude. How's it going, man? 
<laughs> All right. So we've got this here. We can look around. We can go to our workstation here. We can go to a practice session. Yeah, man, I think practicing's a good idea. Let's practice. Let's just uh, get in a car and practice a little bit. Let's race, race around a little bit. Get used to this car. Get used to driving it. I have no idea what the controls are going to be. I hope I can manage. Hello, folks, and welcome to Paddock Pass, your pre-race edition for this, the inaugural round of the 2021 Formula One World Championship. And I've got to say, it feels great to be back. As is tradition, there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here. But it's more than that. It's a breath of fresh air. It's an element of normality in what has at times felt to be something of an abnormal world. Now, we were supposed to have a raft of new regulations this season, but as we know, they've been held back which does give all of these teams the opportunity to have a second bite at the cherry, one final chance to show what they can do in this era of Formula One. But the responsibility for results, as always, falls on the drivers. But with the cars at their disposal this year being very similar to the cars they had at their disposal last year, succeed, and they, of course, will put it all on themselves as a display of their innate skills. And abilities but the knife cuts both ways because if they fail to succeed there's absolutely nowhere for them to hide the other question though remains as to which of these teams has been able to do the incredible the impossible perhaps with these regulations and pull something out of the hat over the winter that gives them the march on their rivals as always we can't wait for this season to begin but for now from us that's your I can't wait for it to begin either, so stop talking. <laughs> Let's go. Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2021. It's very, very quiet pre-race. Crowd. Very, very subdued. Oh. Oh this first gosh. race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside and oh, for those man. back at the factory as well as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. Uh -huh. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. Okay. All right. Oh, garage tutorial. Uh, free practice sessions. Free practice sessions are a vital part of each Grand Prix weekend. Not only do they give you an opportunity to learn the track, they also offer a range of practice programs which can be completed in it to advance the development of your car. Completing practice programs will earn you resource, resource points, which can be spent on upgrades, capital U. Additionally, each program offers a number of development boosts. Completing one of these gives your R&D team valuable insights into your car's performance, resulting in cheaper upgrades. You may adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. Note that the sporting regulations dictate that after each free practice session, you must hand back two sets of your dry tire allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the track. Flying lap. Drive out. Uh, drive out. Don't push the car just yet. The track is still green. Try and take it easy for the first couple of laps. Oh my gosh. Just to see out of this thing? Uh huh. I don't even know what buttons to press. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't do that. Okay. I'm not. I'm not driving. What's going on? Why is the. I'm not doing anything. Why is the game doing this for me? Okay. I guess. Whoa. Okay. I guess the game was, uh. Kind of uh, getting me started, I don't know. Let's see here. I guess I'm in sixth gear. Maybe? I'm not sure that what that six is. Which gear what gear am I in? Oh gosh, that's gear up? I don't like that at all. That feels seems backwards to me. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Uh, not long ago, I played uh, Forza 4, Forza Horizon 4, as a Sunday sampler. I had a lot of fun with that. This feels a lot different. Which, I, I guess it should, right? I mean, it's a completely different type of vehicle here. 
Uh, something just beeped. I'm not sure what it was. Where is it telling me what gear I'm supposed to be in? Remember I selected that. I don't see where it's telling me what gear I'm supposed to be in. Whoops. Try not to go off the track. So, how many laps of this do I do? Well, that's a sharp turn right there. Well, I mean, it's good that I'm doing this practice lap because if I was trying to race right now, I would have either crashed. Or I would be a dead last, probably both. How many laps have I done so far? Anybody know? It still says lap one. Holy cow. Is that true? The big course then. Well, I have no idea. I have no idea if it's a big course or not. Like I said, I don't know anything about F1. I will say that I live in Austin, Texas, and a couple years ago, we actually got an F1 track. They built one out east of town, which just blows my mind. I mean, why did they build an F1 track in Austin? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I've been out there a couple times. I haven't seen any F1, but I did see some F2 one day. That was kind of fun. Holy cow, is this all still the same lap? Oh, that's where... Okay, I see now where it's telling me what gear I'm supposed to be. And the reason I didn't see it before is because I was in the proper gear. But if you look at where, what gear I'm in, just to the left of it, a little red thing will show up telling me what gear I should be in. Okay, that was lap two. Okay, so how do I stop now? I'm, I'm okay with uh, stopping. Really don't need to go through a bunch of laps here. Let's see here. Box this lap. No idea what that means. Okay. I don't know where or where this is. Did I miss my uh, turn? See, it's telling me I'm supposed to be in second here. Okay, now I'm in third. Okay, it's telling me I'm supposed to be in fifth. Okay, well, I, I kind of got a feel for it. Whoops. <laughs> The, uh, the shift up and down feels backwards to me. I don't really like the position of the buttons, but I'm going to try to get used to them so I don't have to map them. Man. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I don't feel like uh, this thing turns as sharply as I would like it to. <laughs> but I am going very, very fast. 180 miles an hour. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Bessie. Alright. This is kind of fun, but I want to get into racing now. See how terribly I do. But he said to come in at the end of this lap, but man, these laps are long. Is this, is this it? There we go. There we go. Okay. Where do I go? Where do I go? Is this my team? Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, there we go. The game did that for me. Okay. Alright, we did some practicing. What do you guys think? They, they all looked very concerned. They have a look of concern on their face. No, no, no. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, we're putting it in the garage. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, put it in the garage. I like how I stay in the car while they do this. I don't get out of the car yet, which I guess makes sense. 
Uh, let's see here. Session info, go to track. I don't want to go to the track. I want to get out. No, I'm done. I've raced enough. Accelerate time. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What am I doing? Time remaining 20 minutes? I, I just... I just want to race. I don't really care about all this stuff. So, am I really waiting all this time to get out of here so I could race? I just want to race. I mean, if I exit this, then I think I'll just go back to the, uh... Oh, great. The time stopped. Uh... Hey, look at all the other people out there racing. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and wait till it's race time. I'm going to get into a race, damn it. Okay, great. Here we go. Completed laps. Bonus zero. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Tier one, that's great. Okay. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Hamilton, Verstappen, and Sebastian Vettel. And if today's practice is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. How about that, I'm in last. The nerve. I tell you what though, my best, my best lap really isn't that much worse than the cars in front of me, right? I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's not laughable. My freaking teammate <laughs> is the guy right in front of me here. He's just as terrible as I am. Huh. All right. Uh, advance. Let's say go to next set. I got to practice again. I don't want to practice again. I want to race. Just want to freaking race, man. Okay, we got a menu there. I could go to my workstation. Okay, I just I just want to freaking race. Qualifying. Um skip to qualifying. Yeah, let's just do it. Come on. Let's go. Although I think qualifying is really not really any different than what I just did. It's just gonna be me by myself. Uh, resource points. Uh-huh. Okay, great. Uh-huh. Driver acclaim. <laughs> I got a sliver of driver acclaim. Okay. One-shot qualifying. I guess I get one shot to make it around here. Okay. Um, car set up. Okay. Go to track. Oh, here we go. So what am I doing here exactly? Oh, ghost car. Where's that beep again? It's a very faint beep. Oh no. Damn it, you pressed the wrong gear. Wrong button. Well, see you later, ghost car. <laughs> oh man, he left me in the dust. He's got a much better car than I've got.
Oh, that was not good. Oh, I just blew it. I was feeling pretty good that I was right on the tail of the lead car. Qualifying complete. Okay. Well, that wasn't terrible, I don't feel like. I mean, at least I still s was able to see the car ahead of me. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on now. Okay. That wasn't terrible. I don't think it was. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. All right. Current tier one. With qualifying finished, hey. it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Come Hamilton, on. Bottas, and Sergio Perez. That's not bad. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. You know, I'm okay with that. We are ninth out of... Uh, well, I can't seem to scroll down at all. I don't know how many there are. Maybe 20? That's not bad. Yeah, let's do it. Race? How many races are there in Formula One? Meet the press. Oh, goody. Formula One drivers receive a lot of media attention. And how you deal with the press can have an impact on several aspects of your career. Interviews can occur after any session of a race weekend, according to what happened and how you performed. How you answer interview questions can affect the morale of your R&D departments, your teammates' motivation, and your acclaim. Consider your answers carefully. Refusing to answer can frustrate the press, leading to them asking you tougher questions in the future. In my team, your answers can even influence the direction the team takes before you hit the track. Some answers in your preseason interview will advance your R&D in a specific area, so choose wisely. The media coaching perk can be purchased through the contract screen at the Team HQ this perk unlocks additional answers which may get you out of a difficult question or give a bigger boost to your acclaim or the team. There are three levels of this perk to unlock. That was an exciting race oh my. from our perspective. Let's have yours. It's uh, been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Uh-huh. The car feels fantastic on this track. We'll be able to carry this through to the race. Or, that's the plan, keep an eye on me tomorrow and you'll see something special. Or, we have a great strategy, it should get us plenty of points. Uh, car feels fantastic. You didn't practice much this weekend. Are you huh? saving your car for the race? <laughs> she noticed that, did she? <laughs> no matter how good the car is, it's always best to save on wear and tear. We're trying not to take unnecessary risks out there. Or, we have the data we need, no need to take risks. Yeah, we have the data we need. Appreciate your time. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, we got a lot of driver acclaim. People are noticing us. Unknown driver finishes in the top half of qualifying. Well done. Very solid result. Thanks. You're looking good for the race. Oh, thank you. All right. Looking good for the race. What do you guys think, huh? Huh? Pretty good, right? They don't care. Okay, so we have a message here. Your career mailbox, available from your workstation. Your mailbox is the principal means by which your team and others will communicate with you throughout your F1 career. Messages can contain important and useful information about a wide variety of subjects, including weather reports, contract updates, and more. So be sure to check your mailbox between each session of a race weekend. So this is what Jeff has to say. He's talking about pre, pre-race. pre Emma talks about the upcoming season. Jeff wants to talk a little bit about the circuit. It's a fairly straightforward layout for the most part here, as you know. But there are a couple of important features it's worth reminding you about. Yes, please do remind me. First of all, turn 10. Oh, don't number the turns or anything for me over there in that picture. A cute left-hander. You'll be trailed trail braking and downshifting all the way to the apex. If you start to lock up, ease off the brakes. You can't afford to lose too much here. Secondly, the final corner. It's a long start slash finish straight, so you really want to carry as much speed as possible. The track widens at the exit, so you can probably take an early apex. Thanks, Jeff. 
Charlie says, welcome. Tutorials available. Weekend preview. Developments completed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, back here. Let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. What did I select? Did I select race? Crap. Did I pick the wrong thing? Oh, no. I hope I picked race. I don't think I did, though. Lots of rumor and speculation all come okay. to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tires. Mm -hmm. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at <laughs> some point during the Grand Prix. <laughs> So here we are in 2021 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here. Mercedes looking to retain their hold on the title. Red Bull seeking to secure their position as the main contender for that title. Ferrari no doubt hoping for a fresh start following their difficulties last year. And elsewhere on the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles, including between the newly rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine teams. Lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back, Crofty. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, and Leclerc. Sainz, a Williams, Vettel, <laughs> Williams. Lance Stroll, Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty. Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda, and Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and Nicholas Latifi. That's our teammate. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Well, prepare to be let down, buddy. Let's start this race. Man, how? Oh, 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 oh! Oh gosh, it's way different racing with other cars. Oh, see you later, bye. Warning: collision with Leclerc. Oh my gosh. We're seeing major front wing damage. Box, box, box. <laughs> major front wing damage. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Oh my gosh, turn car? Well, we suddenly, not suddenly, but uh, jump to the end, the back of the pack here. This is hard. I wonder how these drivers keep track of the other drivers. You know, like, how do I know if, like, somebody's coming up behind me in my blind spot? I guess mirrors, huh? Which are very hard to see here. Boy, this car is handling terribly. Probably because I've... Damn, where'd all these cars come from? Probably because I've wrecked it. Why it's handling so terribly. I don't know how many laps I'm supposed to go. Five laps. Max Verstappen. Now, he's a guy I've actually heard of. Even though I don't follow racing, I've heard of him. He seems to win a lot. Turn, baby! Oh, man. Oh, man. 
So I'm looking, kind of glancing down the lower right, and I see a uh, what looks to be like some kind of warning thing. I wonder if I'm supposed to pay attention to that. Turn. This must be turn 10 here. Real sharp. I'm in 15th place, which I cannot believe. We're in lap two. Max for stopping with the fastest lap again. I, mean, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a better feel. So I hope that my team... DRS, I don't know what that is. I hope that uh, my team will tell me if I need to come in. Whoa, whoa. For a pit. Because I'm not going to be able to make that decision on my own. I have no idea. So I don't know what that DRS thing that just came up was. Maybe there was a wreck on the track or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I really don't know anything about F1. So I don't know the terminology. I thought that when F1 came to Austin that I would get more interested in it. Uh, but I think one of the reasons that I haven't is because we don't have cable TV. So it's not like I ever see it on television, you know? It's not like I ever turn on the TV and there's F1 and I'd leave it on. Come on, car. Oh my. Oh my, this car. I'm having a hell of a time turning this thing. Oh my gosh, terrible. Fall down to 18th place. Lap three of five. I like that we're racing at night. Cars up ahead are making some very unrealistic looking moves darting left and right. Ah, uh, it's a little too, uh, Conservative there. Ah, uh, and I fall into 19th place. Oh. oh, gosh. Where's my handbrake? <laughs> my teammate just passed me up. Don't think I'm going to be uh, catching <laughs> these guys. <laughs> three second time. <laughs> That's funny. I took that corner too. I cut it. Damn it, wrong gear. Oh my gosh, this car. I can't believe somebody's behind me. Somebody must have wrecked or something. Lap four of five. Lap five of five. Well, I don't think I'm going to catch up with anybody. All I could do is hope for a wreck. <laughs> hope that somebody wrecks. 
And then maybe I won't come in 19th place. Well, I got a three second penalty coming too. I don't know whether that's already applied or not. It's probably not. It's a heck of a turn right there. I have no idea what shape my tires are in. I'm surprised I don't, I'm not hearing radio ch Oh, crap. Did I cut that corner again? Damn it, I did. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. Darn it. Oh, well. I must have to come to a stop. Man, I tell you, um, I really thought that these cars would handle better than this. Like I'm really struggling to make these turns. Check here, flag. Yay, 19th place. I didn't come in last. and bring it home. That was terrible. But hey, at least I didn't crash. Driver of the day. Good job, Lewis Hamilton. Good job. Smiling faces on the pit wall after a superb win here at Sakir. And rightly so. What a brilliant effort from the whole team. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Well, we completed some laps. We get some experience points for that. Still in Tier 1 a long way. Oh, I take that back. Not as long of a way to Tier 2 as I thought. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Max Verstappen's excellent result today sees him take over as leader of the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull take over as championship leaders. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. I wonder why they focused on that Lewis Hamilton guy. He came in seventh place. I guess maybe because he started in 11th and finished 7th, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I see no way for me to scroll down to uh, see my time and points. I mean, I got zero points, obviously. Um, I see nobody made any pit stops, either. But, um, yeah, I see no way to uh, scroll down over there, which I find very odd. I mean, I'm using a controller, I'm moving buttons around, pressing buttons, but uh, no way to scroll. That is, uh, that's, that seems like an oversight. Let's see here. Now I could scroll down. Okay, I couldn't scroll down over there, so oh, I did come in 20th. With those, uh, <laughs> with those five seconds of penalties, I came in last place behind Mick Schumacher, who apparently did finish um, so I came in dead last. 
All right. Uh, let's see here. We could advance here. Let's see if our team has anything to say to us. And we got some driver acclaim. Probably, uh, I mean, if you can't come in first, you might as well come in last. Maybe people talk you about talk about you that way. Back at team headquarters here, and here is our vehicle. Okay, uh, so we don't have any messages, surprisingly. I guess nobody wants to talk to us. Although in the upper right-hand corner, see where it says Williams Racing, there's a um, an envelope up there that's flashing. It certainly does seem like we have... Uh, this stupid thing. Seem like we have um, a message waiting. Facilities, R&D, vehicle, corporate standings. We are in... Well, we're tied for sixth. Let's look at it that way. Tied for sixth with zero points. Wow, Red Bull got 41 points. Holy cow. That's a lot of points. Where did our uh, teammate come in anyway? Uh, he came in 17th. Good. <sighs> Stupid thing. Good job. Good job. Ooh, we have a rival. We don't have any rivals. Nobody's rivaling us to come in last. So, um, we could advance time. We could go to the facilities. Oh, I hate this. Um, I hate that. I, I for whatever I don't really know why, but for whatever reason, when I'm on a screen like this, I want to use the D-pad to move around. But when you use the D-pad, it takes you to this stupid podium pass thing. Oh, I do have a mail message. I think this is. Um, yeah, this is like not a game email. This is a. Um developer kind of email thing yeah that, that's I hate that uh, anyway um, so like aerodynamics we have 75 resource points to spend on this I think can't seem to do anything here just return to the overview aerodynamics I could select this and from here I could, if I had 500 points, maybe I could put something into these, perhaps? So this game, if you like F1, it looks like you could do pretty much everything you could do in real life in this game. And it also does look like this is similar to that Super Monaco GP game I played all those years ago, and that you start off as an unknown, you sign with a one of the smaller, lesser-known teams. You drive a crappier car. And then as you get better, you progress. I could see that being a lot of fun. But, man, this seems so complicated. It seems like it would be so incredibly time-consuming uh, to get to really get into this thing and to really understand it and be like, oh, man, do I, uh, do I want uh, to change my engine you know, and, and that's the kind of thing that you're going to do on races, you know, like, oh, this track, you're going to want this engine or these tires. So, yeah, very in-depth. If you love F1, I don't see you being disappointed with this game. But uh, that's all today is. It's just a Sunday sampler. I just wanted to get into it and check it out. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters who make it possible for me to spend $60 on a triple a title like this and then to play it for about 45 minutes thank you guys so much if you'd like to help fund future sunday samplers head on over to patreon.com slash mental fox and join up thank you guys so much for joining me on this week's sunday sampler hope you enjoyed it and i hope you join me again in another sunday sampler soon take care <laughs>